Hey guys, Eric Ani here from MechanicalHub.com. I want to show you Streamlabs Control. We're not going to do an install in this video. I just want to show you what's in the box, talk about some of the features it offers. All right, so this is how it comes packaged. This is a three quarter inch shark bite connection here, as you can see it labeled on the box. It is offered in three quarter through one and a quarter inch connections, shark bite or FNPT. So that's your female national pipe thread connection. Price range for Streamlabs Control, according to their website, is $599 up to $645. There is a monthly subscription fee to use this unit. Now, not every one of these units has a subscription. Some of them do, some of them don't. According to the website information, it's $599 a month um, with a $59 annual fee uh, total. So $59, 60 bucks a year and you've got the Stream Plus subscription plan, you can check their website out for all the features and benefits that that offers. It did also signify on their website that there's another plan in the works. I don't know anything about that or the name of it. This is how it comes packaged. So I did uh, open it once just to make this process a little bit faster. As you can see, it's a clamshell. Pretty well presented, everything is in one spot. You've got your spacer tube here. This is actually a pipe, so you can leave it installed uh, during construction if you need to, or flushing of the line. This is eight, and this is eight inches long, or eight and a half inches long, I believe. So inside also you've got your fittings and your union nuts. This particular one, like I said, is three quarter inch shark bite. So that's a three quarter inch union shark bite fitting. There's the nut, there are some seals in there as well. Won't get too far into that, that's about it. It's pretty self-explanatory. You can see the unit is up front and easy to grab. Inside, you've got instruction packet, along with some information about the, the app, the app store, the subscription, things like that. Underneath, you've got a power adapter with a 10 foot cord. Pretty basic stuff, nice looking packaging. Looks like it's gonna be protected on a uh, service van, so that's nice. I'm gonna set this aside, <coughs> excuse me, and just focus on the unit itself. So this is a powered unit, like you heard me say, it does come with a uh, power head and a 10 foot cord. Power attachment, our plug-in is right here on one end. It does have, uh, that is the outlet end by the way, it does have a, a mode in order to over, manually override the unit in the case of a power failure. That's right here. You've got a connection for a 12 volt, uh, or I'm sorry, a nine volt battery insertion to manually overdrive, override the unit by powering up the control. On top, you've got power and operation button right here. Pretty basic unit, a, ABS plastic, Heavy duty feeling, it's got a brass pipe um, along with a stainless steel ball valve on the inside. So good quality materials. IP54 rated, what that means is it's rated for indoor use. Uh, according to the information in the packaging and also on their website, you can install this outdoors with the proper enclosure. Now I looked briefly on their website, I'm not sure what the proper enclosure is or where to get it, but I'm sure it's there contact a rep or stream labs if you have inf want more information on that. It does also say that it can be installed in a crawl space. So a uh, couple, couple more details on how this unit operates. Uh, you do need 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi connection. Uh, they talk about that many times in the instructions and also on their website. So there's a procedure on testing the Wi-Fi connection on where this thing's gonna be installed. Uh, my suggestion is to adhere to that for sure for for everybody's benefit. It does have some temp temperature limitations on where you can install this. So it not being an outdoor unit, it's got a temp lower temperature limit of 40 degrees Fahrenheit or four degrees Celsius and a max of 115 Fahrenheit, 46 C. It'll handle up to 200 PSI, which is way more than any residential plumbing system is ever gonna be operating at. It's got a few different modes, quite a bit. I'll just touch on them and give you the highlights. So 
slow leak mode. It's going to monitor very small uh, leakage in the system and then major leak, it's gonna obviously be quite higher than the slow leak. Away mode, so you can set this into away mode. Uh, if you're going on vacation, it's gonna monitor the water uh, in the system, that your plumbing system quite a bit differently than if you're at home. Smart alert, which is gonna be a mode in which it's learning and, and monitoring your habits, and then offer up suggestions on how to save water if that's something you're into. Drip, drip detect, which is a test mode, which can be set for daily, weekly, and monthly. It's gonna give you reports on whether or not uh, your system is leak tight. So it's got pressure alerts, uh, humidity alerts, high and low temperature on the water alerts, and ambient temperature. Uh, the high low water temperature is at 40, 70, 115, I believe, according to their literature on the website. And then the humidity alert, which I thought was interesting. 60% humidity, monitor, you know, it's gonna mo monitor the humidity in the space where it's installed, and at 60%, it's gonna alert you on your mobile app. So uh, obviously, like anything these days, you can get the app on the, the Apple App Store or Google Play, and uh, the app itself is free. And, but you, like I said in the beginning of the video, you've got a subscription service on this system. So this is the Streamlabs Control. It's a leak detector and shutoff valve for uh, single family residents. Um, it could be used in a lot of different manners, but this is a whole home uh, leak detection monitoring system. So if, if you found this video helpful, I appreciate you uh, subscribing to the channel here. We'll try to show you very soon an install video and an operational video on the app and how this thing all really goes to comes together as a whole. Thanks, have a good day.